I'm so jealous of everyone who's uploading nearly every day, Tara Lynn. Take my hat off. Whoa! I'm still waiting for the pretty rich. I even forget what I've ordered. I've forgotten what I've ordered. How long is this video going to be today? Let's try and not keep it too long. Merry Christmas and ho ho ho. Ho. Okay, so let's get the bad news out of the way. I've been trying to send something um, to a friend and unfortunately the company that I chose to buy from has, I, I, I don't know what the problem is, it's not been dispatched to me on time which means it's not going to be dispatched to the person on time. It's really upset me because I wanted this person to um, receive this before Christmas and it probably isn't going to happen and I'm very 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 upset about it. It is so frustrating when it's the holiday. I know it's the holidays, I know it's been Thanksgiving, I know all of that. I've st this, this is coming from England. The item that I'm talking about is coming from within this country and they have delayed it and delayed it and I'm just so angry. I'm so angry that I'm not going to be able to fulfill my wish um, before Christmas. Um, I, don't, I doubt it will get there now before Christmas. It's not even got to me yet but I'm hoping to get it today or tomorrow. <sighs> anyway, today's video, while I'm trying to sort my hair out, is a straggly mess. It, it's Christmas time, I can get away with wearing this hat to cover up this messy hair and the hat's not too much better because it's dirty and it needs a wash. Whoops. Welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be the best of beauty for 2018. It might be a long one. Um, the items that I'm going to be mentioning, I cannot guarantee that they was released in 2018, but I can guarantee you that they've been my favourites of 2018. I'm going to do it in individual sections, so primer, foundation, eyeshadow, powder, blush, etc, etc. Um, it shouldn't take too long. I'm not going to go through each item and swatch it and try it out for you. I'm just going to basically tell you why I loved it and that's it. So um, I was going to incorporate the worst of beauty but in preparation for this video I couldn't really find a lot. Um, I couldn't find a lot of items that didn't work out for me. So either I've been extremely lucky in the items that I've purchased or I've already passed them down to friends and family, um, specifically my daughter. So, I mean, I had like a, a couple of single eyeshadows which didn't really work out for me, and the Maybelline Lemonade palette was a complete mess for me, but I've already passed that away. I don't really have a lot of stuff which didn't work out for me this year, so... Hey ho, I guess I'm spending my money wisely. We'll start off with skincare. My favourite moisturiser of, of this year. This is the Clinique Moisture Surge 72 Hour Auto Replenishing Hydrating Cream. I have been loving this moisturiser for the last, since July I've got this. Um, this is my second jar now. For, for me, I haven't found anything else in 2018 to replace this. I, I love it, I love the way it feels. It's the most um, refreshing, hydrating cream that I've ever bought for myself. Um, I'm sure there's other products out there which I've yet to try, but so far, out of the ones I have bought this year, um, including serums, including... What other moisturiser have I bought this year? I, t I tend to buy something every two or three months for skincare. Usually when it runs out, I'll, I'll replace it. Um, so I haven't bought a whole lot of moisturisers. I know I got treated the Charlotte Tilbury set the day and night cream back in March for Mother's Day. Um, although the benefits seem to be amazing on the Charlotte Tilbury cream, I actually still prefer using this. It just feels so good on my skin. I love the texture of it. I love the way it gl glides onto my skin and it leaves it silky and hydrated. I really, really like it. Uh, so I haven't found anything which beats this yet. I, I can't say it hydrates my skin for 72 hours. Um, I don't think it does that, but as far as the quality and how it feels on my face um, applying it and the way it makes my skin feel, I love it. I really love it. It's so hydrating, so soft, so smooth. That's been my favourite of 2018. And then the next one is um, primer. Well, it's not. this is kind of like an illuminating primer based before you put on your foundation or you can mix it in with your foundation. This is one of my best products in 2018, usually saved for special occasions or when I want to make an effort with my makeup. 
Um, this is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter and I got the shade number, was it four or three? Number three. Um, it's a great product. I think across the board, people people's thoughts on this is good. They like the way that it's not too illuminating. I think the Becca, uh, Becca Shimmering Skin Liquid um, is definitely more of a metallic finish. This is a little bit more subtle and does make the skin look very glowy when wearing this so um if you like a glowy look in your routine i would definitely recommend this being number one for 2018 i'm not going to keep saying 2018 i'm not going to do it but basically what i've done is picked out my best products from each category and that's what i'm showing you today and this is the best one for that um, as far as a normal regular primer i'm still um reaching towards the smashbox photo finish primer that's just like a the, the clear gel one I, I love it i recently purchased this one i was trying to be bougie and got and treated myself to this beautiful one i've used it like once or twice so i can't really include that for my best of beauty 2018 2018 2018 this will probably i'm hoping this will be um featured in next year's favorites because i haven't used this enough to really enjoy it i do think it feels nicer than the um smashbox the Smashbox one but for a favorite for this year what I've been using and it's been working very well at covering pores smoothing the skin but not feeling too heavy is the Smashbox one so foundations I've got two this is my makeup forever HD ultra HD foundation and my Dior um, I have quite a lot of good foundations but this one you can rely on all the time if you just want your face to look natural smooth and good in pictures it's just like an all-rounder safe bet i wouldn't wear this for a night out it's not um doesn't pack enough punch for me but uh for wedding days and just for a it's just like a really safe option if you're not um if you're not comfortable in choosing the correct foundation for yourself because of all the commercialization um matte full dewy um this is really your safest bet because you can't really go wrong with it you get a good finish every single time you use this it's not my favorite foundation but i know that i can rely on this a hundred percent if i'm just looking for a quick decision safe foundation day it will be this one um, the next one is my dior backstage face and body foundation still love this foundation um i can't say my feelings have changed about it at all every time i've worn it i've been super happy with it uh i've got two bottles of this i've got 3.5 and three both of them are still slightly too dark for me i can still wear it especially if i've got like self tan on i can definitely still pull these shades off but um love <laughs> I'm such a hair fiddler. My feelings haven't changed towards it. Still a pleasure using this foundation. It's so smooth, luxurious, smelling, and just, I, I like it. You, you, <laughs> usually when using this, I get a nice, smooth, flawless finish with it, especially when applied with a brush. My favorite brush to use with this is the It's Cosmetics um, brush. I don't know what it's called, but it's like a really small foundation brush and it just applies it so smoothly. You can pretty much say 100% um, guarantee if I'm doing anything um, Christmas day wise, special evening out, this will be incorporated either by itself or with something else. I love it, it's a really nice foundation. I think I, what I like most about it, the way it, uh, it feels, so the consistency is like a smooth, serum-y feeling, cream like a just a nice foundation to apply it's the balm that's the foundations out of the way then we're gonna go into bronzings i have bought a couple of bronzers this year i'm not a huge makeup hoarder i don't buy every single week or every month i don't buy a bronzer every single month i don't do that so the ones i've bought this year are the um physician's formula butter bronzer good 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 um i bought the brontor by morphe um the cover effects one um so i've bought a few my favorite still is the old girl 
the Kat Von D shade and light. I've hit pan on these, look at that! I don't know what the reason is why I keep reaching for this, but I think it's the immediate colour payoff it performs and blends out very easily. The Physicians bronzer is a good one. I love the colour on it, but I find this blends into my skin a lot easier. When I'm reaching for a bronzer on a good day, I'll always be reaching for this. So this has been my favourite to use in 2018, the Kat Von D Shade and Light palette. That's, that's the only thing about me wanting to repurchase this because I don't really need these three. This dark one I never hardly use. Um, obviously I can use this on deeper skin toned clients. I don't know if it's worth me purchasing it, purchasing it again because it is just these two, but the way it performs out of all my bronzers I've bought this year, unless I find, unless I treat myself to the Marc Jacobs Tantastic, that huge mega bronzer which everyone likes. Um, I think that's even more expensive than this whole palette though. My other one, again this is not new, uh, I was looking for an alternative for this one as well because um, this wasn't cheap either, this is £30 from Iconic London, my cream contour. I always do cream contour when making an effort with my makeup. It's not a daily thing, it's only when I want to make an effort. And I've tried um, concealers to do the job, like darker concealers to contour. I've tried the Smashbox crayon, which is very, very good. It is a good crayon for contouring. But this, nothing beats it. Um, the shade range and the blendability, the way it blends into the skin. This, mind you, is quite full coverage, but I can still use it. When you go in with a lighter hand, it blends in beautifully. It covers up so many imperfections, this does. Like for dark circles, it's amazing. And yeah, I've almost um, finished these two pans here. I've definitely used the hell out of this, and it's, and it's for a reason. It's the best cream contour formula that I've found so far and in 2018 it's been my favourite to use. Okay so I have a, quite a lot of blushes, okay hold on a second, um, blusher wise uh, I've got two, sorry, I've got the Kevin Aquan, this is my favourite blusher just because I love the shade of it and it gives a slight shimmer, it's the perfect in between rose, dusty rose and a bronzy colour, it's like my perfect shade for blush and then this one here is one of my favorites as well because of the color range and it's the morphe um is it the what it's the warm palette the 8w master the 8w warm master palette i love it because of the different shades you've got in here and they're good quality um blushes very pigmented you have to be quite careful with these but the shade range is ridiculous you can you just can't go wrong with these at all so they're my favorite blushes for this year Setting powder, that's quite an easy one. It's the Hourglass um, setting powder. That's, I've only bought the Charlotte Tilbury. I don't know, that's, that's a hard one. Ooh. So the only two powders I bought this year was these two. That's it. Did I buy any others? No. So these are the only two that I bought this year. This will have to be the winner because I know I, um, what's the word? respect this one more no no that's, that's not the right word that's not the right word i favor i favor this one more than this one um for quickness this one for taking my time this one overall winner this one but both very good powders this is the charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless finish powder very good powder quickness bougie they're both expensive but yeah as I'm doing this I would like to know if you can tell me very briefly what is the most product that you've bought this year has it been foundations has it been eyeshadow palettes has it been powders concealers for me it's been eyeshadow palettes they have been the death of me this year oh I, I don't even want to I've ordered seven palettes from the States in the last what several weeks over the holidays some big ones some small ones one didn't make it and it was a single eyeshadow not a cheap one it was an, quite an expensive dose of colors single one teal me more beautiful eyeshadow came smashed to pieces they're sending me another one but out of um, i'm still waiting for 
I'm still waiting for the pretty rich. I even forget what I've ordered. I've forgotten what I've ordered. It's been so long. I have to keep checking my email saying, when, what, what have I still got yet to arrive? Yeah, I'm still waiting for the Pretty Rich palette. I'm still waiting for my daughter's m one of her main presents, which I, I won't mention on camera. Um, and that's the only two palettes I'm waiting for. Please pray for me that they come in one piece. I can't stand it when they come broken. But if you know you're sending something overseas, pack it properly. Please pack it properly. So the best concealer for 2018 for me is the Too Faced Born This Way Super Coverage uh concealer i got the shade vanilla and it wins just because it has slightly more coverage and does blend very very well more than my naked my naked skin has been an all-time favorite of mine but this does beat it favorite concealer i've got plenty left this is the only high-end concealer i bought i did buy the nabla but this is better this has beated all of them so far this big old juicy concealer and I'll definitely be repurchasing one of those we've done bronzers blush powders foundations eyeshadow palettes I've only got one favorite of the eyeshadow palettes which one is it can you guess of course you can guess this is just gonna win because of the price that i paid for it it's as simple as that angelina does not normally fork out that much money for eyeshadows uh, not an eyeshadow palette but what 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 an impressive palette it is the most look at look at look at look at that it's so beautiful it's such a beautiful palette and i had to resist because Pat McGrath had a 25% sale on. I don't know if it's still going on, but man, I wanted to get in them. I wanted to get some of those palettes. They look so nice, but I held back. I'm strong. I'm not going to do it. I know I only bought it a couple of months ago. When did I buy it? That's the best eyeshadow palette that I've bought in 2018 of performance, price, quality. Nothing beats it. Oh, but for eyeshadows, I have to say the best as well. The best, the best, the best is these babies these babies you will not find another product with the same kind of quality and payoff sustainability these are the winner when it comes to eyeshadows these are all my glitter and glows i feel like a princess they're my favorite favorite thing to use you cannot do a glam eye makeup look without these you can but this, this tops it. It's it's the it's the wow factor. It's the X factor when it comes to eye makeup. You can use them in several ways. You can pack it on. You can spread it out surely. But it's beautiful. So nice. And I am using them a lot more now. Oh, so pretty. I did use the Morphe one on one of my videos a couple of weeks ago, and I was super impressed. Um, I've yet to try the other ones out which came in that packet and I've quickly wrapped it up and put it back under the tree for, um, for Christmas. <laughs> That's the only one that I dipped into. I, the rest I haven't. Oh no, mascara. Best mascara. The best mascara the winner goes to is Stilla. This um, huge Stilla Extreme Lash Mascara. I don't know what makes this so special. It's almost ran out now. But for 2018, take a shot. Um, this is this has been my favourite mascara. It gives your lashes so much volume, and it's very nice to apply. It's not an awkward. Some mascaras are awkward to apply. We don't get into the lashes, but this does. I prefer this over the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. I don't have a whole bunch of um, mascaras to compare it with. Um, but this has been my favourite of the 2018. Highlighters is really hard because I have about four or five top favourite ones which I love. Um, I'm not going to go through them all again. I'm just going to go with what my gut is telling me at the moment, what I like the best of 2018. Uh, and that's the Lancome, the Lancome Dual Finish Highlighter in Shimmering Buff. I got Sparkling Pesh which is more of a peachy gold colour. But this is like my dream, like my best colour because it's neutral, gold and champagne all at the same time. I want to compare this to my other ones, my new, the Amrezy. I've got that, I've, I've definitely got that, that's wrapped up. Woo, I 
can't wait for Christmas. Sometimes I watch people's videos and I think, why don't you swatch it? I haven't swatched anything on today's video, but these Lancome highlighters are so soft and buttery and they are a beautiful formula. If you like Becca highlighters, then you'll also like these, but um, Becca don't really have that much um, shade range I like. The only one I like is Opal, so that's a lie. I like the pink one, that um, Rose Quartz. I do like the Rose Quartz, I like the Opal, but I don't really think I like... Um, the Royal Glow is just a bit blah. I use that when somebody wants a nice, subtle glow, um, the Becca Royal Glow one, but... Um, no, this is beautiful. Very, very beautiful highlighter. Last thing is lipsticks. So, lipsticks are crazy. I don't have a favourite lipstick. So, my favourite lipstick to wear in the summer of 2018 was this one. This has been, um, this is my favourite. This is Dose of Colours and it's in the colour Koi. And it's that Barbie peachy nude. It's like so, so bright to wear in the summer but it's like really it's so sexy when you wear it with a nice eye look it's a beautiful beautiful color dose of colors lip glosses in general they have been my favorite go-to this year um i've got a few of them um love their formula love the way it feels on the lips love the smell the scent that, that they do and i've ordered the mickey mouse one as well a dose of colors has i think has been the winner for, for me this year for lipsticks they've not let me down and then I've just purchased the other day the Smashbox Holiday one. I think that came out last year though. I'm not sure. It's that metallic red. It's called Crimson Chrome. So it's been out for a while. But I have got nothing like this. I thought I did. But I didn't. And um, this might be what I'm wearing for Christmas Day. But red can be such a nightmare to wear. Like with, when you're eating food and stuff. I think last year I wore a matte red. And then I just had like a, a, a bold patch around there so it can be unflattering after a few hours so i was like i don't want to wear red again but it's christmas you have to wear red so i thought let's try this most i'll try this comfortable one this is like a really oh i've got another one coming on the way as well from ulta that's um two-faced one but this pretty baby uh i'll do it here is like super Oh, I love it. It's a very pretty colour. I'm so over the top, aren't I, when it comes to makeup. And this colour today, this is completely out of my comfort zone. It's quite vampy for me, but I love it. I actually do really like this. It goes well with what I'm wearing. It's very, very festive looking. And that's the next one. This is the Slip Tees NYX Spiced Bell. I could include setting sprays and makeup removers and stuff like that, but we'll be here all day. Oh crap, the Smashbox stains. Stains the crap out of your hand. I know it's not like a really, it's not an overly exciting video guys, it's not nothing new and sparkly to your attention, but I just wanted to share with you what my favourites have been throughout the year of 2018. Um, I, I could have incorporated a lot more stuff but the video would be way too long, so I've done pretty well. That, that it, it's it, it's nice to show you what's what's been working so good for me this year. I will be back soon with another video. Trying, I'm going to try and squeeze in a couple more before Christmas. I have been super busy with Christmas parties, and who's that? <laughs> I'm so sorry about the noise in the background. Okay. I've been super busy with Christmas parties doing makeup for a lot of people, so I haven't had time to upload. I'm so jealous of everyone who's uploading nearly every day. Tara Lynn, take my hat off. Whoa! So congratulations into keeping your promise, girl, for um, uh, uploading every single day. That's amazing. I wish I could do that, but I can't do it. Just can't do it, guys. But anyway... I hope you have a great week guys. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you soon with another video.